skating the shoe means that you can ollie nine decks off flat and you can go bump over bar like crazy. <laughs> What's up guys? My name is Levi and this is Shred Shop connecting you to skateboarding. And today we're doing the first look at the Westgate 508. This is Brandon Westgate's second pro model shoe with New Balance. With New Balance. Something that if you didn't know about New Balance skate shoes is that the number dictates where it is on the technical scale. So Tiago has a shoe called the 1010 that is the most technical shoe that New Balance skate has put out. Whereas there's another shoe that's called the 22. And it's the least technical, most simple shoe. This one sits right in the middle with just enough tech and also a lot of skate classic things that are mixed in here. The 508 is based off of an old New Balance soccer shoe. Some of the style points as well as some of the specs were pulled from that old soccer shoe. Before we talk about the tech, let's go into what this thing looks like. When I first pick it up, one of the things I notice with the fact that it's based off of an old soccer shoe is that the sole comes higher in the heel and thinner in the toe. Could be part style points, maybe a little bit tech. I know it gives a bit more board feel in the front, but either way, it's cool, it's low profile. Another thing I notice is that a lot of bumpers on a lot of shoes that are coming out right now are quite a bit higher. This one sits quite a bit lower. I'm sure that doesn't mean that there's any less durability in it, but a style point to point out, so the toe goes up a little bit there. I like that it's got a few different fabrics. We got mesh in the heel, mesh tongue, we got suede in the toe where you need it, as well as a little bit of leather mixed throughout. A few different color tones too to make it pop really nice. This colorway is a cream, white, gray, and a navy with a few little red hits. One thing that I like, maybe some others don't like, is there's an unfinished tongue here. So around the edges, it actually shows the foam that's on the inside. This shoe dropped with two colorways. Right now I have the cream colorway. It's got cream toe cap, cream heel. It's got white, navy, and gray. I like it because it adds a little bit of depth, tells a little bit of story with the shoe. One thing that's cool that some of you guys that maybe don't know New Balance or maybe just don't pay attention is the stitching around the toe is pretty specific to New Balance shoes. And it's the same on a lot of their shoes where it cuts in, it's over. It's cool because the perforated holes follow the same lining as well. It looks like it'll be a really good shoe to skate. When you pick it up, it feels grippy as heck. It's nice because when it's thicker in the heel, you know it's gonna have a lot of heel protection. So if you're jumping down stuff, but then the thinner toe at the bottom is gonna give you more board feel. This cup sole is kind of in the middle. It's not vulcanized and super flexible, but it's also not like really thick, like a really hard rubber old school dunk or anything like that. You have some mobility, but still a ton of structure with the shoe. First thing, let's pop out the insole or the footbed. New Balance Skateboarding calls this the Absorb insole. You'll notice it's quite thin. It's made of a great material, so you know it's durable, but the reason they put the thin material in this is because all the tech is in the actual outsole or the bottom of the shoe. Being a cup sole, there's quite a bit more structure. You don't want to have a super tech insole because then you'll never feel your board. When you flip it over and take a look at the outsole or the bottom of the shoe, we know that it's really grippy. With this cup sole, they kind of say it's pretty well bomb proof. It lasts super long, it's super grippy. Let's flip it back over. We take a look at the tongue, it's fully mesh all the way through. So if you've got some stanky feet that overheat all the time, you sweat a lot, this is the shoe for you because it's gonna breathe the tongue. Head down to the toe, ton of perforation. Again, great for breathability while still maintaining strength when you're flicking away and you're skating hard. It's not gonna tear apart on you. As well, it looks pretty dope. A lot of cup soles have the stitching along the edge, which can be a certain style, but then they fray and things start to look a bit weird. This one has no stitching in it, while the classic line goes around, kind of like that old school style. Let's take a look inside. The tongue does have tongue elastic, so it's not gonna slide around on you. They have the, the foam back mesh collar that runs around your heel like this. One benefit of how soft it is, your heel is gonna slide in and out when you're putting the shoe on or taking it off quite easily but your heel's not gonna slip out because there's padding in there to hook your heel in really well. It's also great for breathability. When you flip it around, they have a little reflector hit on the back. They say it's great for skating at night. Someone will be able to catch their eye on the fact that the reflector material are there. Overall, it's a great shoe. 
Again, medium tech being the 508, keep that in mind when you're buying New Balance shoes in the future, that the number determines the amount of tech that's in the shoe. But with this shoe, you know that Brandon Westgate is skating, it's his pro model. If you know anything about his skating, he is crazy, he can ollie super high and go super fast. So skating the shoe means that you can ollie nine decks off flat and you can go bump over bar like crazy and you're probably gonna be pro without even knowing it's gonna happen so fast. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is the first look at the Brandon Westgate 508, his second pro model with New Balance shoes. I'm Levi, this is Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding. If you guys like the content that we're putting out, the best way to support us is to like, subscribe, and comment so we can keep putting out great content for you guys to watch. Stay tuned for Comment of the Week. Oh, we got a spicy one for you today. This is Comment of the Week from my man, Mm Ope. Mm Ope. Listen, he says, greetings from Landsberg in Germany. Love your work, keep it up. Guys, we love to hear where you're from. We love to hear how stoked you are on the page. We love to hear how stoked you are on the videos. We work really hard on these and we're just a bunch of weirdos, just like you guys, loving skateboarding together from clearly all over the planet. Let us know where you're from and we will shout you out like M Ope. That's M-A-U-P-E. Guys, we love you so much. Peace.